When you're working in AutoCAD 2016, you want to make sure that you're utilizing your layers. Now the whole idea of layers is they're developed from overlay drafting back in the old days on the drawing boards when you used to place a drawing on a drawing board, place another sheet over the top and trace the elements that you needed for a particular discipline onto the new upper sheet. Now the good thing about layers in AutoCAD is they're all on the drawing and they're all different colors, line types, line weights to allow you to distinguish different objects on an AutoCAD drawing. So I'm currently in the 0107 floor plans drawing. I've zoomed in nice and tight onto one of the washrooms. And what I can do now is I can select one of these blocks. So if I click there, like that, that particular block is on a particular layer. And if I hover over it long enough, it tells me it's a block reference and the color is by layer. And it's on the architectural floor plan WC layer. Now, how do I check where my layers are and how they work? Well, I go up to the ribbon and what I do is I click on the home tab Go into the layers panel here, and if I extend that out, can you see there's my architectural layer that I mentioned earlier, but I've also got layer properties. Now this opens up a palette which has gone right over to the other side of the screen, so I'll just go and get that for you and bring it onto the screen like so. So this is the palette here. Now you can dock it if you want to. You can make it bigger and smaller and stretch it out as well. Now at the moment, it's a little bit small because of the screen real estate. But you can see there that I can actually hover over that and I can make it bigger and smaller if I need to. So if I bring that down like so, and I can also bring it out this way like that. And there's my layers palette, my layer properties manager. So what I can do is I can go in here and I can edit all the different layers. I can make columns wider like so, so I can see the layer names, which are quite long. And if I scroll down the list, these are all the layers that are available for this drawing. Now the architectural floor plan WC layer is there. And that was based on the object that I selected previously. Now I might want to change the color of that layer. Let's change that to red. And that will bring up the select color dialog box here. So I'm going to change that to a red color, like so. Click on OK, and you can see the red color changes. So what I'll do now is I'll actually close the layer properties manager. And you'll see that all of those WCs now and the urinals have actually gone to a red color because I've changed that layer color to distinguish it on the drawing. Now, as we work with these layers in AutoCAD 2016, I will be explaining more and more how they work. And when we start going through the drafting settings and setting up objects on our AutoCAD drawings, you'll see how layers become more and more important to allow you to distinguish various objects such as things like objects, urinals and toilets, but also more importantly, things like dimensions, room numbers, window numbers, door numbers, and so on. And also just labeling text like this, leader lines and so on. If they're the appropriate color, they're then distinguishable on your AutoCAD 2016 drawings, allowing you to work more productively and more effectively.